Hello App Spy fans, it's me, Peter Willington, and I'm here with another hands-on video for you. This time it's with Dual Survivor, a game I both love and loathe in equal measure. As you can see, I've got to Zone 2, so I'm not f that far through the game, uh, but there is a damned good reason for that. It's because it's really hard. Let's play from the start. It's a good place to start. The start. 2289 AD and some story that doesn't really affect the game that much happens. Something about aliens. So, I've got my two thumbs on the screen and they are controlling these individual pincers. And I have to move them independently of one another. So, I can wiggle my right and I can wiggle my left, as you can see. Uh, and this stage, it's kind of just asking me to mirror what I'm doing. Uh, on one side, on the other side. So, that's kind of the the, the, the simple premise really. I'm collecting these red orbs and uh, uh, when I collect all 50 red orbs, I get three stars at the end of the game. And everybody goes, yeah, you're amazing. You're the best gamer ever. And I go, yeah. And then I wake up, because it was all a dream. It's, it's, you know, this level's pretty easy, right? Ah, nothing. No, not that much going on here. Not really particularly tricky. And there you go. I've hit, I've hit the finish line. And everyone's happy and everyone cheers. Death count, zero. Ah, oh, 49? Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, got two stars. And I can share my thing, you know, progress and all that good stuff if I really want to. Let's play the next level where things get slightly more tricky. Let's start the map. So, do, 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 do. this level asks me to mirror what I'm doing in a different way, you see? So, the left one moves right, the right one moves right, the right one moves left. You get the point. And that's slightly trickier. Or maybe it's just as tricky. Maybe you're the sort of person who finds that sort of thing a little bit a little bit uh, a little bit easier than the opposite thing. I've just gone through a checkpoint and if I were to die then I would, or if I was to lose my ball, my silver balls, then I would go back to that checkpoint instead of the start. And it's very easy to lose your silver balls, very easy, because you can fall off the screen or as you'll see later there are other obstacles to overcome. Obstacles that make you want to hate yourself and to hate the game but you can't hate the game because it's too nice this is really well presented isn't it it looks really nice uh, let's just uh, go up to uh, well let's go to zone 1 but let's go up to a slightly different slightly tougher level let's say uh, let's go with level 6 let's play from the start then let's start this one right so, it's only a few levels later, and already things are really tough. As you can see, I'm now not doing mirroring or anything like that. I'm independently making my silver balls ah, uh, move and do completely different things. So I have to basically sort of internally split my brain to do multiple things at once. I have to figure out what my what the left hand side of the screen should be doing and what that should look like and what's happening and figure all that good stuff out ah gosh just got caught by a bomb there and you know I have to do the same with the right and it, it's this beautiful feeling of confusion where you want to move things at the same time but you have to teach yourself to not do so it's very, it's it's a it's a game that requires a lot of ah oh, and I fell off the screen, schoolboy. It's a game that requires dedication and it requires patience and it also requires a sort of training of your mind and I really like that. It makes you think differently about how you approach a game. It's not just a you know we think about movement in games. This is all going to get a bit highbrow now, but we think about oh, we think about movement in games is really simple and sometimes we don't even really think about it at all you know when we when we want to be Nathan Drake we want to run forward then we just press forward and it's just a it's just a thing you know you don't have to even be taught 
to run forward. You just assume that the stick, you know, you, you, you press forward. Uh, with this, you know, movement is absolutely everything. And it's much like Super Hexagon in that way. In that, you know, just the smallest of movements can, can result in success or failure. Um, so, the other game that it's also quite like <laughs> is, uh, and if you like your references old, then this is a decent one for you. Uh, Curry Curry Mix on the PS2, which was kind of like a, a launch <laughs> launch game uh, back in the day, was kind of the... No! <laughs> Curry Curry Mix was kind of a launch game. Uh, and uh, it was sort of the same idea, basically. You were controlling two different separate rabbits and you had to make them do separate things. Um, there, at least, you had kind of like um, a controller for some sort of physical feedback, but here, of course, you don't because it's all touch screen. Oh, um, I, for one, am f f glad that that kind of gameplay is back and in this because I kind of like that. Um, so, I must say I'm really enjoying it, I really like the aesthetic, uh, and I think, it, I think it sounds good, I think it uh, looks good, as I say, I think it handles fine, um, it's tough as nails, and it's, it will make you howl in agony, uh, in, in, you know, at, at the, the, the fury! You can't get past a certain level. Level six. I've got. I've got past this level before, and now I can't do it because I'm on camera and I'm, and I'm. Uh, uh, yes. Yes. Made some funny sounds there. No. 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 Oh no. Oh come on. Yes. Yeah, so it'll make you howl and scream and shout, and it'll make you want to throw your phone across the room. And it'll make you go, how is this fair? How is this fair? Uh, in a sort of stupid... <sighs> Alright, sleeves rolling up now. Shifting position in my office chair. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> one last go. Also, it'll make you say one last go a whole bunch of times. And it won't be your last go. It'll be the, you know, 400th to last go. Uh, because you'll just be like, oh, I've got to complete this level. Come on, apps boy, cheer me on, cheer me on, cheer me on. Yeah, come on, come on, come on! Woo! Yeah! Game developer got nothing on me, game developer got nothing on me. I can't trick a hardcore gamer like that. Yes, checkpoint. Here we go, halfway through, come on! And we've slowed. Uh, <laughs> so we've activated the checkpoint, we've got the slow bonus pickup, which you get over these little, um, uh, these little bumps. Uh, oh, oh, come on. If I don't get to the end of this, I'm going to be absolutely furious. But yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't, obviously I can't concentrate because I'm talking to you and trying to present the game in a nice way. Uh, you know, clearly, clearly you're putting me off. So I'm, ju I'm just saying, if there's, ah, if there's an excuse, uh, then it's, then it's that. It's definitely that. It's not that I'm absolutely furious and, and, and rubbish at this game. And that that is putting me off. Not at all. Good. Glad we're on the same level. Ah! All right. Really, this will actually be last last go. Um. So yes, there's this. Uh. There's also there's a whole bunch more levels. Uh. Mo uh sort of online. You know, levels of the day, that kind of stuff. Uh, and the game will make you hate yourself. Uh. With a vengeance. So uh. If you get it and you can get past this level, do please let me know. Uh. With a comment below because uh, I ain't got no flipping clue how uh, how you can regularly make it past this. The first time I did, it must have been a complete fluke. Um, so yes, if you do get it, let me know. It's out now in the App Store. Um, am I rubbish at this? Or, or uh, is it genuinely as hard as I'm making out? I think it is. Uh, so that's a bit of a challenge to you there. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh. Yes, yes, yeah, yes! <laughs> this is Peter with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.